At some point, many of us have gone through having to make the difficult decision of whether to agree to have surgery or not to have surgery. Often a very scary decision because you know what others have been through or how difficult or challenging or what complications they may have had. In Africa, pregnant women are 50 times more likely to die from cesarean section complications than women in high income countries. Why is this? This happens in areas where women are not able to access hospitals on time, are not able to access specialist care on time, have to travel through very difficult roads to get to the nearest hospital. And when they do get there, they might not find a specialist or they might not be able to receive blood or critical care services depending on what complications they have. So my research has looked at this work and initially my research was on bleeding during and after cesarean sections. And this has since led to a focus area of global surgery, which is a new emerging discipline which looks at surgical outcomes for the general population and how to improve those. This is not only about cesarean sections, but goes across all the various surgical disciplines, including anesthesia and various disciplines such as vascular surgery, neurosurgery, cardiothoracic surgery. So global surgery looks at all the surgical disciplines and how we can improve the access to surgical care and the quality of surgical care, providing comprehensive care and strengthening surgical healthcare systems. It's important that we look at surgical health systems because when patients die from complications of surgery, it's not usually what happens inside the hospital that's the problem, but it's what happens outside of the hospital. These are issues that have to do with policy, resource allocation, budget, funding, etc. It's not only about the surgeon that is with the patient at that time, but what is available for the surgeon at that time. So as we've done more and more research trying to understand this, we have found that surgical systems and investing in improving surgical systems will save more lives. So three areas that I think are important for us as scientists are in this area are one, improving surgical systems and doing research that aims to strengthen surgical systems to understanding data and using data science and other forms of research that quantify how, how serious the problems are and what can be improved. And three, looking at innovation to find unique solutions and new ways of doing things in order to improve surgical care and surgical outcomes. Investment in surgical care and surgical systems not only will improve access and quality of surgery, but it will indeed save lives for many people, particularly in Africa and low and middle income countries where a lot of lives are still lost because people are not able to have life-saving surgery when they require it.